Welcome to a video on the greatest common factor. We're going to try to find the greatest common factor for these two numbers. One way that you can do it that's kind of fun is a factor tree. So I'm going to factor 42 into its prime numbers. I think of 6 and 7. And 7 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. I'm done with that one. And then I'm going to factor 6 into 3 times 2. And both of those numbers are prime, so I'm done with those. I'm going to list all the prime numbers for 42, and that would be 2 times 3 times 7. And now we're going to factor 48. I think of 6 times 8. And then 6 is composite, so we're going to factor it into its primes, which is 2 times 3 and 8 is composite, and that would be 4 times 2. 2 is prime, 3 is prime, 2 is prime. And then now we're going to factor 4 again into 2 times 2. So if I listed the prime factorization for 48, it would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. There's four twos, and then one three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look and see what numbers they have in common. Well, 42 has a 2, and so does 48. So if they have them in common, I'm going to list it here. And then 42 has a 3, and 48 has a 3. So I'm going to list that one here. And they don't have 7 in common, so that's it. They have 1, 2 in common, and 1, 3 in common. So I put the 2 here and the 3 here, and then I multiply those. And so the greatest common factor for 42 and 48 would be the number 6. So how would you use this in math? Well, one of the most common things that you're going to do is you're going to simplify fractions. So you know that you use the greatest common factor to simplify a fraction, and we just found that that was 6. So I'm going to divide the numerator and denominator by 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7, and 48 divided by 6 is 8. So if we had to simplify this fraction, this fraction in simplest form would be 7 eighths. Let's take a look at another problem. Let's factor 27 and 36 into prime so that we can find their greatest common factor. 36, I think of as 6 times 6. You could also use 9 times 4. Both those numbers are composite, and so that factors down into 2 and 3, and then 2 and 3, and they're prime. When I get done with them, I like to circle them. And 27 is 9 times 3. 9 is composite, and it factors down into 3 and 3 again. So all the prime factors of 27 are 3 times 3 times 3, and the prime factors of 36 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now, let's look and see what they have in common. Well, 27 has a 3, and so does 36. So we'll write that down here. And then 27 has another 3, and so does 36. And that's it. So if we multiply these two numbers, we get 9. If we saw a fraction that was 27 over 36, we could use the greatest common factor to simplify it. 27 divided by 9 is 3, and 36 divided by 9 is 4. So 27, 36 simplified is 3 fourths. And this is how to use the greatest common factor for simplifying fractions and how to just find the greatest common factor. Thanks for visiting my video. Check out my others online.